So if you guys listened to the Trapping Today podcast, I mentioned a line that I set up on snowmobile that I couldn't get to from the truck. So it was a great opportunity. We got all this early snow in uh, late November, early December, and I set a bunch, I set, I don't know, I got seven on this road system, and then I got a few further down. Um, but I set seven here in this really remote spot, and I was pretty excited because I thought, you know, this would be ideal martin habitat. Well, I went for two weeks, and I didn't catch a single martin. I got two fishers. So that was kind of odd, unexpected, and kind of a little disappointed, but oh well, I'm getting ready to pull these in a few days. I just had a fisher refuse to go in a box at the last set I checked. Um, he's moving around, so I actually could catch a third fisher on this line, but um, I see something over here as I'm coming in, and right there is a set of Martin tracks going across at the base of the tree that my set is on, and it looks like going up toward the tree. I got more Martin tracks right there. This is the first set of Martin tracks I've seen on this whole line. Um, I would assume they were here. And we have a Martin in the box. Beautiful, beautiful Martin. It's like he hopped right up on here and went in. Um, so that is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know why. Sometimes, and this year seems to be one of those times. Look, he peed right on top of the box. Looks like he probably hung out here for a while and was kind of trying to get at the bait and then realize, ah, maybe I gotta go inside that box to get to that bait. Uh, but this year, it seems to be a pattern where it's taking, sets have to be there for quite a long time. Even where I've seen Martin tracks, it seems like the set has to be there for four to eight days before anything comes by. And in this case, it was a couple weeks. But, but hey, check that out. We got a Martin. So, we will take care of him.